Here we are on my proper camera doing a Beauty Heroes review for the month of June, which is one of my favorite months because June 1st is my birthday. So it will have already happened by the time you're seeing this video. My birthday totally crept up on me this year, but shout out to all my fellow Gemini sons. I hope you have had or will have an amazing birthday. I unfortunately missed doing a monthly Beauty Heroes review last month, which was the May box featuring the Osha products. I did give a very brief review of them in the makeup declutter and makeup empties video that I did. I'll link it for you if you wanna hear my thoughts there. And let's just get started with June because we're back on a good track for me with the boxes. This box was kind of everything because it's featuring the brand Honua, which I believe they featured last June, like last May or June, they featured the Alina face oil and I always blank on the Aloha Youth Serum. So it was a co-hero product box last year. If, as some of you may know, if you follow me on social media, I was fortunate enough to get to travel to the island of Maui in the beginning of May and it was kind of a life-changing experience. I had never been to any of the Hawaiian islands. I was completely beyond words captivated by being there. As I was sort of traveling home and sort of getting back into my life and thinking about making videos and products, my mind immediately went to Hawaiian skincare brands. I was so inspired by being there. And the three that jumped to mind are Mahalo, Honua, and Leilani. I actually took a spin on the Honua website and I was like poking around and Honua had come out with some new products since I had seen last year. They used to only have four or five products and they've come out with a few additional ones. I was like, oh, I'm particularly interested in this new sunscreen that they have. So you can imagine what an amazing feeling it was to open up the June Beauty Heroes box when I got back from Hawaii. And I see that the Hero product is indeed the Malu SPF 30 Protect day cream. It was just super fortuitous and I felt like totally the stars had aligned. The sidekick this month is the Moana mask. The little tagline is for the ocean lovers and they do another mask. Okay, the other mask is called the uh, Aina mask, I believe, I-A-N-A, -A, for the land lovers. So also included in this month's box, which I want to give some due diligence to, is a reusable, I believe it's a glass straw. I have been using a glass straw for actually a number of years. Uh, where did I get mine? I think I got it on the website One Lucky Duck. I don't know who remembers Sarma Melangalis and raw food real world. And I mean, there's so much subsequent drama with her. I think she might be in prison now, but anyway, total digression that I will not get into. But I actually have had glass straws kind of in and out of my kitchen and I've been using them if I drink smoothies in the summertime. You know, recently there's been so much in the news about our need to reduce single use plastic um, and straws have really sort of come under fire. And it's made me really realize like, wow, I do use straws out more than, you know, I even realize, like just going to Starbucks or coffee shops or things like that. I thought it was just such an amazing thing that Beauty Heroes is including a glass straw and it also comes with this little cleaner. Most glass straws will come with these. Um, to clean them in everybody's box this month. So everyone will get one of these. And then also in the Beauty Hero store, they're now selling these, I believe, as well as reusable utensil, wooden utensil packs. Um, that you can take with you on the go. I also have had a set of bamboo utensils for a number of years, so it's amazing to see this kind of come, you know, to the public consciousness more and more. And there's so much to say about this because there's also been so much in the news about chemical SPFs and polluting coral reefs and polluting the oceans and things like that. And proceeds from this product, sales from this product, a portion of them, go to a nonprofit called, I wrote it down, Sustainable Coastlines Hawaii, which is dedicated to protecting coral reefs and the environmental health of Hawaii and its surrounding ocean. I've been using the products literally since I opened the box two or, th I feel like even three weeks ago. I have been using this particularly, the day cream, pretty much every single day. So let me give you just a little bit of background um, on the products and then we'll talk about my experience. If you would like to subscribe for Beauty Heroes and you're new to this model, it's a three month subscription that you sign up for in advance. I will have a link down below if you would like to go check it out. So if you are not currently a Beauty Heroes member, you would be getting the June box and then you will also get the July box and the August box. And you can renew, you know, obviously as many times as you want. The value of this month's box is $90. So the Malu Reef Safe Protecting Day Cream 
is an SPF 30 product. It's 100% zinc oxide, so I have a few things to say about that. The packaging, I think, is really nice. All, all of their stuff is packaged in recyclable, um, eco-conscious materials. Honua is a brand similar to a brand like Osmia, where I feel like they're packaging really kind of meets the ethos they have around sustainability and reducing waste and consumption but the box is one of these that kind of opens like a little present like this which i think is really really nice and i just think they have a lot of sort of nice details in their branding and packaging there's sort of beautiful design here. They like to sort of inflect the meaning of Hawaiian words or, or let people that don't know the, the meaning of them, the meaning of aloha is love, mercy, affection, compassion, grace, and peace. And actually the meaning of the word malu means, I also wrote this down, <laughs> what a wreck my notes are. Malu means shade, shelter, protection, and peace. So I'm not gonna go into kind of all of the background behind the formulator, her name is uh, Kapwa. I did a lot of that in my Honua review from last year, which I'll link down below for you. But in short, she is a native Hawaiian and she is has many years experience as an esthetician. I believe her husband is a practitioner of traditional Hawaiian medicine. They're very much, you know, traditional healers and stewards of the land and the community. So there's a lot of um, great information in the insert about exactly what the issue is with chemical sunscreen. It says here, many of the ingredients still used in sunscreens may cause a bleaching effect somewhere far more detrimental on the coral reefs. So I think that that's what the issue is with 14,000 tons of sunscreen running off into the ocean each year. It's estimated that less than half the world's coral reefs are considered healthy today and by 2050, nearly 90% of the reefs are expected to be at risk. So kind of the other superstar ingredients in this product are aloe, lau, Kahi, L-A-U-K-A-H-I, and Noni. It's described here as being a sheer lightweight moisturizing sunscreen that leaves a silky residue free reef safe SPF. I have lots to say on that and kind of my usability with it and how it compares to um, some other sunscreens that I have and can think of that it's most comparable. So I'll tell you about that in a minute. This uh, retails for $42 for 30 mils. I wish they did a bigger size because this does not feel like enough product, at least for me. I've been using it every day and I'm probably used a quarter or a third of it already. So this is the Moana mask for the ocean lovers. This is 50 mils and it retails for $38, which I think is actually a really great price point. So this is described as a balancing and replenishing treatment. I think that the land mask is, well, let me check. I don't want to talk out of my, you know what? The land mask, it's, it also kind of seems similar. I think it's anti-aging, repairing and so to draw out impurities and give stimulation. So I would actually really be curious to try the land mask to see how it compares to the ocean mask. This to me is very detoxifying and drawing to the skin. It has uh, blue-green spirulina, uh, organic Hawaiian honey, kaolin, bentonite, and French green clays. Those are great, in my opinion, for normal to combo to acneic skin. Um, I actually think green clay is one of the gentler clays, green clay and white clay. Red clay, I think, tends to be a little bit more intense, and pink clay is quite moisturizing, actually. So it also has Hawaiian sandalwood, neroli, and Bulgarian rose hydrosol, so it's supposed to give kind of a deep hydration and a grounding aroma, as well as some jasmine. I will say I loved the scent. As far as the effect, I used it once. I really wanted to, I love the way it smells. I think it smells beautiful. It reminds me of something that I've used before. I've only used it once. It was a little bit intense on me, so we'll get to that. So as far as usage instructions, you can use the Moana mask as kind of a leave-on mask, or you can use it in the vein of a kind of a, a quick cleanse almost, or a flash mask type of deal. Um, the instructions here say that you can apply a thin layer to your face in the morning. You can remove it after five to seven minutes, rinse it, uh, or remove it with a cloth, follow with toner, serum, malu, uh, as a day sun protection. Now for daily SPF protection, they recommend two pumps of malu. Wear it over serum and under makeup, obviously. Now here it says reapply every two to three hours if you're exposed to water or sweating. That only works if you're not a makeup wearer, so that's something I have some things to say about. For daily cleansing uh, and more intense masking, you can leave this on for 15 to 20 minutes in the evenings. 
and then follow with your evening skincare routine as usual. Okay, so let's talk about Malu first. My very first thought when I was using this is that it reminds me a lot of the Carrie Gran 365. I've tried quite a few Eco sunscreens. The other ones that I currently have are the Suntegrity Tinted. Now I have this in the shade Fair. I have also tried the Untinted. And in fact, I have a whole review and demo of the Suntegrity Untinted alongside the Josh Rosebrook Nutrient Day Cream. This was a hero product in Beauty Heroes from last summer. I will link that video down for you below if you'd like to see how those apply and compare. And then more recently, I've also been trying the Hint Beauty Sun Prep. But right away, this reminds me of Carrie Gran 365. However, the texture is a little bit different and I prefer Malu slightly to the Carrie Gran 365. Now here's what you need to know about this. I personally find it very emollient and moisturizing. I am a normal skin type, however, over the last month and a half, my skin has been dry and dehydrated. This is, I believe, due to season change, stress, environmental changes, health changes, things like that. There's been a lot going on that has sort of caused my skin to veer out of the normal range. I'm getting a facial on Sunday to try and keep recti <laughs> rectifying this. When my skin goes out of balance, it goes dry and dehydrated. This has actually been kind of a lifesaver for me because I feel that it has been imparting a lot of extra moisture for me in the morning. I don't use a face oil with this. All I need to do in the morning is splash my face with warm water, warm cool water, tone, eye cream, I'll either do the Fit Glow Redness Rescue Cream, which is very, very lightweight and to me acts sort of like a serum, or I will do the Provise Nutrivitonic, which is a hyaluronic product. After that sinks in, I will do a generous amount of this. I feel like I might be doing more like three pumps, but I kind of have a little bit of issues with the pump and packaging. I don't feel that it fully dispenses out two pumps it's like i have to the first pump will come out but then it sort of not really trickles out but it's difficult to get all the product you need in just two pumps if that makes sense so i end up pumping maybe four or five times and i get probably about a quarter sized amount i just kind of apply it as such and I, I actually find that it sinks in very very well it's a little bit easier to rub into the skin than the Carry Gran 365 if you have any experience with that product I actually do like it and I kind of am considering buying a new bottle to, to try it again this is more user-friendly but it's heavier and more emollient than the Josh Rosebrook nutrient day cream so I'm I'm tempted to say and I'll be curious to hear your thoughts and experience I still believe that this and probably the Hint Beauty Sun Prep are going to be better experienced by people with oilier combination skin. I mean, it's it's a little hard for me to say because my skin has been more dry, but if you are normal and like any to any side of dry of normal, I think this would be so good on you. I mean, it leaves a dewy finish, but I, I find that like I don't need a primer before makeup. I don't necessarily need to use all cream products on my face. Um, I really have been loving it. I've been using it, using it pretty much every single morning since I got it. My only issue is that I wish the pump were a little bit different. I, In fact, it took me a while to get the pump going and I am a little bit worried that it's going to be difficult to get like all of the product out of there. I can just kind of already tell that this might be one of those products, but it, it also might be unavoidable similar to this i had gone through a whole previous bottle of this in the old packaging and it's literally impossible to get the last like eighth of the product out of the jar which is a shame because these products are not cheap and you really want to be able to use all of them i don't really believe that this leaves any white cast at least on me it, di it dissipates very quickly however so let me do a close-up so you can kind of see what this So this is the hand with the sunscreen on it, and this is a bare hand, so I don't know if you can really kind of see the difference in finish. Um, it does have a very mild scent, and to me, the scent is not 
not offensive nor I mean it's not offensive at all it's not off-putting at all but it, there is a slight scent but you can't really smell it on your skin now counterpose that to something like the hint beauty sun prep I basically can't use this because the scent hit that started bothering me so much I know some people like it it's just very sweet and sort of synthetic smelling to me which is unfortunate because Pretty probably of all the eco sunscreens I've tried, if someone is looking for one that functions like a conventional luxury beauty sunscreen that's translucent, doesn't, almost feels like a silicone primer. This feels like a primer, but like a moisturizing primer. This feels like a translucent featherweight silicone type of primer. To me, especially if you're not used to using mineral sunscreens this is super super user friendly but i just wish it did not have the scent in it and i actually feel that this is much more beneficial to the skin this is like truly skincare and sort of it's an oil moisturizer sunscreen all in one so it's a very kind of multi-purpose product and i feel like it's a nice way to streamline a morning skincare routine so you're not doing a million layers of product this gets a huge rave from me i really like it i will have to keep you updated on how as i get down to the bottom how i feel that the packaging kind of shakes out towards the because i mean you really can't have full commentary on a product until you've finished it especially in sort of the packaging realm so i'm hoping i can get to use all of it and that the pump doesn't kind of malfunction or anything it is a pretty small bottle i actually think the josh rosebrook size is really good like this would last you with daily use like probably eight plus months this will probably get you through most of the summer, maybe not even, maybe half of the summer if you use it every day. Again, love the curation of Beauty Heroes going into warmer months, giving you a really, really amazing brand new to the market launch of an eco mineral sunscreen. The thing I would say is that I personally like to layer zinc oxide with titanium dioxide. And what I would recommend for that is getting yourself a titanium dioxide based loose mineral powder, which you can also use for touch ups. So this is the one I have. It's by Arcona. I, I've talked about it a bunch. I think I talked about it like in my spring break beauty video that I did and summer beauty favorites or I'm sure I've talked about it before. Uh, other brands do these like Color Science and Arcona. I just think they're great to have, especially because in my opinion, it is not realistic for most of us to reapply a uh, cream or a liquid sunscreen on, you just, you can't reapply it on top of makeup. And I wear makeup essentially every day of my life because I love it and I want to. <laughs> Um, but if that's not a concern for you, you may not need this, but I personally feel best if I'm out in the sun when I have zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. This, these are very easy to use. A lot of them have retractable brushes. I just pump out the powder and end up distributing it with like a powder brush kind of uh, pretty much almost everywhere. I mean, forehead, nose, chin, up here, and I love this one, would totally recommend it. How have I been recording for almost half an hour? Uh, clearly, I'm excited to be talking about Beauty Heroes products again. So let's talk about the Moana mask um, quickly. So I'm not done trying to get this product to work for me, but here is what I will tell you. First of all, like everything, the experience, the smell, it's super, super like kind of cooling on the skin initially, but what i found when i used it and i used it once and i it was actually what i when i got back from hawaii obviously that is an extremely long trip i was still living in boston at the time so i was maui to san francisco san francisco to boston i got home and i was like help help on every i need help on like every level of life i did a skincare routine a double cleanse and then an exfoliation and then i did a first mask of this with the intention of leaving it on for 15 to 20 minutes again i need to hear from you because it's like i'm not sure if my experience is singular or specific to what my biochemistry is going through right now but i couldn't leave it on more than five minutes because it it wasn't really I wouldn't necessarily say burning, but it was uncomfortable on my face. It was extremely tingly, borderline burning, and I just kind of wanted to get it off. I'm not really sure what ingredient in there could have caused that reaction. My skin has also been um, much more sensitive than normal, so again, it just could be me having a singular reactive experience. This does have willow bark. Normally that doesn't bother me at all. It could be all of the essential oils. 
It could be the clays. I mean, it's just the spirulina. It's really, really hard to say. I took it off. I did feel like it was very poor cleaning and which was kind of, you know, what my skin needed. And then I had to follow it up with a very, very hydrating and regenerating sort of reparative mask. And for that, I think I used the Radice Apothecary St. John's Wort and Honey Mask. The combo is actually lovely. The, yeah, I mean, it's a, such a nice product. The way it smells is fantastic. Um, I may try and sort of flash mask or like second cleanse with this to kind of get some of the effects, but not use it as a leave-on mask if, cause I mean, I can feel it like tingling on my hand even now. Related to last month, the May box, the Osha cleanser also irritated my skin. I found it too tingly for my liking. I'm not sure I really want my skincare to feel that active. I mean, I am, I am not an acid exfoliation person. I don't currently use retinols. I, there's no way in hell I'm gonna start using Biologique Recherche. P70 or whatever it is. I don't like super active skincare, so keep that in mind as you're hearing this review. If you like those kind of products, you might really, really like this, or your skin might just react um, differently than mine has to it, and it might not be so tingly on you. Um, the Osha Ocean Cleanser, I also cannot use it. I also felt like that product dried my skin out with even after just a couple of uses. But I'll just keep you apprised with how I kind of continue to fare with this, testing it in other ways. Now, what else do I have to tell you? I did have some other, oh yeah, I do have another thing to show you actually. I wanna just give a quick mention to the men's discovery that Beauty Heroes came out with, um, I think last week or a week and a half ago. It's the Mr. Fox collection from Lil Fox. These products were made two, three weeks ago. This is a sort of male-centric box, kind of nicely timed for Father's Day coming up. The thing is, a woman can totally use these products too. They're, especially if you like sort of unisex, woodsy, musky sorts of scents, which I do. Um, this isn't obviously like exclusively for a man, but included in this box, and this is an elective box. You don't have to be a Beauty Heroes member to purchase this. It's just a one-off box. If you are a member, you can get 15% off. Again, I always have links and information down below for that stuff. But featured in this are the Koopa Cool Rainforest Moisture Jelly Balm. This is kind of a multi-purpose cleanse mask moisturized product, so you can use it as a balm cleanser or as a moisturizing mask. I'm gonna try and get Kaveh, my, my person, to try these. I don't know if he will. You also get a sandalwood toning mist, which has a smoky quartz infusion in it. You get a nice big bottle of that. If you like sandalwood, I. I don't actually really like sandalwood that much. Um, it's a, it registers as a little too powdery to me, similar to something like chamomile, but I know so many sandalwood lovers and this is a beautiful one. Even though it's not personally my favorite, um, I can tell that it's like a beautiful quality and it's really, really nice. And then you also get this Mr. Fox Man About Mojave Desert Succulent Face and Beard Oil, or you can just use it as a face oil. It has a really, really vetiver heavy and slightly patchouli-ish scent. I had actually likened the whole scent pro profile of this box to the skin and bones oils and products. And one person on Insta, I did an Instagram post about this box, and one person was like, I totally used to use those products too and I had such a love-hate relationship with them and that was totally how I felt about them too. I wasn't like the biggest I didn't think I was the biggest fan, but then I found myself wanting to use them. They are very complex and complicated and interesting. And yeah, that's kind of, I guess, how I feel about these. I think it's, you know, Beauty Heroes is kind of always trying new things and I think it's awesome. So the Love More promotion for this month is a generous sample of the Osmia Nectar Vital Rose Drops with any purchase of $125 or more in the Beauty Heroes store. I have tried those. I believe they were a sidekick in a box from a while ago and they're very nice. I'm actually, you know how like we all went through that whole period where we were so oversaturated with face oils? I'm like kind of getting the bug to try new face oils. I think I finally have had enough time with like the plethora of ones I was trying and now I'm like, I need a new, I need to find my new best face oil. So I'm kind of like feeling re-interested in trying some new ones. So the only other stuff to update you on is that the Beauty Heroes store is now stocking a new brand called Inlight Beauty. I believe it is a UK brand. 
Uh, the branding is beautiful. Everything is packaged in black glass. It looks aesthetically a little bit like the brand 12 Beauty. I've been seeing, they were featured in a box, Walla box, and I feel like I've seen them everywhere. They look super luxe and gorgeous. So that is a new addition to the Beauty Heroes store. Uh, there's also a couple new products from True Botanicals, the Resurfacing Body Mask and Clear Hydrating Cleanser. And then a few new Anima Mundi products are also in the store, the Blue Lotus Flower or Intuition Tea and the Chi Energy and Protein Super Powder. Please let me know what you think of this box, uh, if you're gonna pick it up, what you think of the products, would love to hear. And we can compare notes and uh, experiences with these things. I hope you are all doing really well. There's so much good stuff coming up in June. A bunch of stuff on Patreon, which this video is already too long to get into it, but I hit another goal, which actually is going to mean more vlogs here on La Moria La Musique. I'm going to be doing uh, an additional live stream because there's more people in that category now. So I'm going to be very busy, but I'm very, very excited. Still kind of working out my filming setup. I know the lighting is a little off. I should have had a softbox over here, but it didn't happen and I figured I didn't need it to talk about products. You know, this isn't like a, a makeup video where you really need to be seeing my face. So babbling. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss any of my videos. You can come say hi on Instagram where I'm pretty active, at La More La Musique, and I will see you guys very soon as always. Bye.